Hi everyone, it's me, B at Kelly Sunflower. So I was going through my autumn decks to do another video that I've got planned on my autumn decks. And I come across this deck in my collection. I've had it for quite a while, but for some reason I didn't open it. And it's kind of autumn-ish. So I thought, because I haven't seen it before on YouTube, let me do a quick flip through. So this is called um, My First Tarot by Eleanor Hammond. And it's the easiest and most accurate tarot reading that you can do. So um, it's got here, fun and accurate for anyone at any stage learning tarot. Um, now you can understand tarot in just a minute with this new reading system that allows you to interpret what each card means based on its position in an eight card spread. Each of the 78 tarot cards show the keywords, time frames, and eight meanings. There is no confusion about what the cards mean when placed in the reading spread as each meaning is written on each card. Also included is a guidebook that leads you through the 78 cards deeper meanings. Your readings will address who you are, your distant and most recent past, what's happening now, influences, special advice, situations around you and your future. It is a very simply simple shuffle the deck, lay out your eight card spread and the advice for each card is shown. And that's it. Tarot at your fingertips. So um, let's see what, I, what came in this box. So you get the guidebook, which I go through first, and then you get this kind of like layout card. So let's go through the guidebook first. Let's see if I can make this a bit bigger by bringing the camera up. Okay. So um, my first tarot. So this book was published in 2016 and I believe it's a Schiffer publication. So let's just read this little blurb here. To the spirit within my family who are past and present to my supportive, the emperor husband, Ken, my quirky, the star girl, Alaska, and my two gorgeous airy warrior sons, the son, Jonathan and the Hermit Roman, I love you. And then she says here, with thanks. Thanks to, to the following people for their support and honesty when testing this tarot deck and reviewing the relevancy of the artwork. Ken, Meg, Bob and Alice, thank you so much for all your kind feedback. To many people who assisted with the testing, the deck, through the mini readings on Eleanor Energy Hammond's Facebook page, your assistance is appreciated. So let's look at the contents. So it says here, blessing and protecting your cards, getting started, card sections, try these quick readings, spirit walks with the earth. And then it outlines the 22 major arcana cards there. Um, then here, You've got the minor arcana cards and each of their suits. So it's got here, um, blessing and protecting your cards. So it says here, the easiest way of, cle of cleansing your cards is to have the intention of clearing old energy off them as you pick up each card. The power of your intention is all that is really required to ensure your cards stay clean. Do this as often as required. Putting a crystal like a um, selenite or selenite on top of the deck also works amazingly well and allows the cleanse and charge your cards overnight. Keep your cards wrapped in something that feels beautiful and special to you. Most tarot readers wrap their cards in silk. I find that this type of material depends on the climate that you, you live in. Generally, silk will ensure that your cards last the test of time in most climates. 
I, like, I bless my cards by asking the Archangel Michael higher protective energies to protect the cards and ensure that any messages coming from the cards are from the highest good. So, um, here it's got my first tarot deck. My first tarot deck is very simple to use. Following the easy to understand steps that follow to give yourself, your friends or your family a professional reading within minutes of opening the deck for the first time. So she just tells you how to do that. So she, she's got it in eight stages. So stage one is lay the map on the flat surface. Ask for protection. If you feel it is right for you to do so, the prayer that I always say asks for protecting energies and Archangels, Raphael's higher healing energies to provide protection and healing during the reading. Ask your question while shuffling the deck. You don't need to have a question. Sometimes you get the most amazing insights into your life or the lives of people you're reading for simply by asking for a reading for the highest good. A reading f for your highest good usually gives clear guidance from spirit. So the fourth point she um, she mentions is, it doesn't matter how you choose your cards. You can you can cut the deck if, you, if that feels right, or lay the cards out face down and pick whatever card draws you, or simply choose the top card from the shuffle deck. Lay out the cards from one to eight, as shown in the layout mat. Read the textbook, read the text box and each tarot card as shown on the layout mat. For, its, for instance, if you put a card in, position, in one position on the layout mat, you'd only read the top left on the tarot card itself. Drawing and placing the eight cards is the full reading. However, you can draw more cards for each of the eight sections to get a more detailed reading. For instance, if you wanted to have more information on your current future, then you might randomly select another few cards from the deck and place them in the current future position in your card spread. You then read the current future boxes on these cards to give much more detailed look at the future. You don't need to pull all eight cards as indicated by the um, layout mat. You can do shorter readings. Take a look at the quick reading section of this booklet. So this here is um, name of the card, overall card meaning. So on each card, it's got when you are or who you need to be, background, recent events, current, crossing you, environment, advice, and current advice. So I think this is the eight card spread that Eleanor is referring to. Here she goes into overall card meanings and timer frame. And then she gives you some more you know, extensive explanations there. And then here, um, she's got here, Spirit Walks the Earth. So she's got here, the Major Arcana represents the activity of the soul throughout our lives and does not necessarily reflect the physical journey. There can be times in life where you feel like a massive new beginning is taking place that's going to change the course of this lifetime. However, people outside you may not see anything actually happening. An event can change the way we think and feel about a certain place or person. These changes happen in spirit and are usually more life altering than anything that happens outside of us. Then she gives detailed meanings about each of the cards. So for example, zero the four, um, this card reflects the beginning of, a, of the soul's journey. As a, as a baby is considered the beginning of the soul journey here on earth, occasionally this card can indicate an actual baby. More likely though, is that this card is indicating a major new change for the person for whom you are reading. Some examples of this card may mean when it comes up in the reading as follows. Falling in love or a lover's leap and that frightening leap into the unknown with a new love interest, a new job, a pregnancy and a new soul coming to earth. The start of a major new life cycle. 
in the life of the person for whom you are reading. Lack of preparation or forethought before embarking on a major change. In this card, in this card has shown up around a new career, falling in love or starting a new business idea, then the message is always look before you leap. She does this for each of the um, cards. I think in the whole of the deck. And then, um, then, then you go on to the minor arcana and she says here, cups, emotions. The 52 card playing deck shows hearts, diamonds, staffs and clubs. Cups are the heart suit from the 52 card deck. When talking about heart, you generally talk about emotions. You feel bad, good, in love, have churning emotions, feel disappointed, are on top of the world or have feelings of long-term love and devotion. Love is the ultimate message of the cups, to love all situations and people, regardless of external influences. And then it's got here time frames. The tarot will show you time frames as days, weeks, months and years. Emotions can change from day to day, therefore cup suits donate water and days. If you ask a time frame and receive the six of cups, then the, the time frame is six days. And then, then she goes through each of the um, meanings for the cup cards. Um, let's read one of the court cards in the cups. So let's read um, the page of cups, for example. So it's got here, um, this card reflects someone who has, a who has had a lot of turbulent emotions on the inside, yet tries to maintain a cool and calm appearance. The page is a youth and is seen as the youngest and therefore the least mature member of the tarot. The page of cups, and in brackets water, may become emotional and not know what to do with the turbulent emotions within themselves. This card may also indicate a young person or young people, news of a birth or new beginnings. It might simply be asking that you start slowly in a new endeavour or relationship. There's no need to rush anything. Okay, so let's have a look at the pentacles. So it's got here pentacles, abundance. Pentacles are the diamond suit from the 52 card deck. The item that every person needs to survive are food, shelter, clothing, love, and pentacles are the earth that provides this to us. Nowadays, people don't generally go hunting for food or chop down a tree to build shelter, and usually they find a job, get paid, and use the money to buy food, shelter, and clothing for themselves. This is why the earth suit has changed context and become money and career over time. So time frames. Pentacles are the earth element. The earth rotates around the sun every year. Therefore, when asked about a time frame, the pentacles reflects rotations of the earth and years. If asked how long and you receive the two of pentacles, then you are being told two years. And then again, she kind of like gives explanations for each of the uh, numbers in the um, suit for pentacles. And then it's got here staffs, which I think would be wands in this additional Rider Waite Smith deck. So it's got here staffs are the club suit from the 52 card playing deck. When talking about passion, we can be passionate about a job, about a hobby, a person, a place, or just about anything. When we get more passionate about life, or we can lose our passion for life, passion is what drives us to be better and to do better and it gives us the internal spark that lights up our eyes when we were excited by life. Time frames are the fire element. Fire can burn through a forest very quickly or very slowly depending on what happens with the rainfall and the winds. Staff denotes weeks therefore if you ask a time frame question and you receive the seven of staffs then the answer is seven weeks. Then again she goes through the meanings in a bit more detail so let's read the last suit which is swords and she's got here faults swords are the spades suit from the 52 card playing deck when talking about fault 
it can mean strategies and plans for the future or worrying in in necessary about things that you have no control over what you think about becomes what you plan even unconsciously and the plans that we make become the lives that we live swords come up in readings indicate that the calm thought that leads to positive plans is required any kind of worrying is not helping anyone and then time frames swords are air element air is thought and when we when thought is put into action they become plans good plans take time and therefore swords denote months so if you ask a time frame question and you receive the two of swords then the answer is two months and then again she gives you know more in-depth reading and stuff so that's the book um and stuff so let's look at the um this is the card layout sheet that um also comes in the deck so position one is who you are position two is a distant past this one here is a recent past the happening now crossing you around you your advice and your current future it, it it's kind of similar to me to the celtic cross so let's have a look at the cards so this is how you would read the cards if you choose to read this spread so let's have a look at the cards so look at look at that gorgeous edging nice blue shiny edging the cards are gloss like so let me go and compare it to a Rider Waite Smith in terms of size so this is a standard Abano Rider Waite Smith card and if I compare the size it's, it's the same size as a Rider Waite Smith card okay so these are the backs of the cards and as you can see they're not reversible it's just got my first tarot there so if I show you for example now the four yeah and I was to read it, you know, in in the eight position spread. Yeah. It's got here, um, so the, the, the main kind of overall thing is a new soul journey begins, baby. Ability to fulfill dreams of an unusual home. Starting afresh, falling in love at the beginning. That's like small keywords. Now, if, if the four is um, in the position one here, which is... Um, who you are um that would mean you have always been open to starting major life journeys without too much planning you take risks and like change and if it was in this position here which is the distant future it would mean you're you're impacted by the major life change that occurred long ago a birth or a fresh start that is still affecting you so if it was in the past it means recently you have had a major new beginning hopefully you're enjoying the roller coaster that is this fresh start to life if it was happening now it says here you're leaping into the unknown with joy and abandon a whole new journey is open to you. Leap with the faith. If it was crossing in the crossing you path, the four card, it means you're about to take a major leap of faith or have a fresh start. Check the important details and then take a leap of faith. And then if it was around you, they're all new beginnings around you. A major life change is happening and a baby may be on the way. If, it, if it's your advice about the time you took, a risk and leap into the joy that is life. But silly, it's good for you. Creatively comes from having fun. And if it was for the current future, it's got here, you've heading towards all new beginnings look before you leap check the detail a whole new life is about to happen so because the cards are kind of like 
you know, kind of writings on there. What I what I might do is just do an eight card spread here to give an example and shuffle the cards. So can I please have a general reading for the week ahead? Can I please have a general reading for the week ahead? It's not a good shuffle because I haven't really used this deck before. It's still sealed. Whoops, that's, that's position one. So let's just... Can I have a general reading for the week ahead? Can I have a general reading? Okay. So that's position two. These cards are fallen out. Position three. Position four. Position five. Position six. Position seven. So I just need to have one more card and then I can do this. I can show you what it means with the card. Can I have a general reading please for the week ahead? Okay, so if I turn all of the cards around, and read this spread in um, accordance to this chart. Okay, so position one, is who are you who are you so the card for position one is the devil and in the who are you position it says here um you take commitments very seriously you may overreact at times and you're extremely passionate <laughs> that's actually true about me okay so position two is the distant past and I've got the King of Swords. So I have to read it from the second position, which is here. And it says here, you've learned how to be an adult using intellects and you're considered carefully before making cho choices. This is true. I do kind of think before I make cho choices, but this is my distant path. So in my recent path, I've got the, um, which would be this position here, is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords in my recent past says, you've just been through a time of healing on the inside. Lighter thoughts came in and you're starting to feel better, which is so true. <laughs> um, position four is what's happening now. So I've got here the position four, the Queen of Swords. And in a now position, this is saying... You are the master of thought and strategy. You need to focus on your future. Be kind to others. So position five is what's crossing you. And I've got the Knight of Swords. So if I read that in the position five, it says here, you need to come up with great ideas that bring long-term change and joy. Have ideas plan them and act and position six is around you and I've got the page of swords so in the sixth position which is here the page of swords is saying there are too many secrets around you be careful what you delve as it can come back to you negatively detective work Position seven is, is the advice, and I've got the fall for the advice. So the, the fall in the seventh position says, it's about time you took a risk and leap into the joy that that is life. Be silly, it's good for you. Creatively comes from having fun, or creativity comes from having fun. And the, f the final position, which is position eight, is the three of pentacles, and that is the current future. So the current future is life is going to be good for you. Great events coming 
that will expand the health and wallet. Things are progressing perfectly. I can actually relate to this reading, <laughs> believe it or not. So I thought I'd just do a quick, well not flip through, just, just do a quick um, video on this deck. It's called My First Tarot Deck. Um, it's a Schiffer publication and it's by Eleanor Hammond. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.